Welcome back. We are here looking at the uh, indices in the United States and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, January 18, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are pulled back towards the 20 exponential moving average. And we have, well, we broke down towards the 20 exponential moving average and found a lot of support there. At this current point, we pulled back all the way towards uh, 3,780. We were down at uh, 3,751, which is basically the 20 exponential moving average, or basically in the middle here of the Bollinger Band with a simple 20 moving average. So at this point, the question is whether or not we are going to see this, this indice go, uh, well, drop further. It was a fairly bad uh, day for the markets today for most of the stocks, at least the ones that were heavily overextended for like say, Tesla and for NEO and, and, and many others. And uh, it was also anticipated for them to fall quite significantly. We are in a channel here. It is um, holding quite nicely. It is basically right at the 20 exponential moving average. And then we have the top here of the channel as well. So at this point, we are basically, we hit the bottom of the channel, pull back. And at this point, we are most likely going to head towards roughly 3,870 or roughly 3,900. That is going to be our next uh, next target. There is going to be quite a lot of uncertainty in the market, especially uh, if there's going to be additional bad news in the weekend and leading up to the, uh, the inauguration. There is going to be uncertainty what if there's going to be some kind of instant in incidents uh, of any sort. Um, but as soon as the inauguration of the new uh, Biden as president is over, we are very likely to see this market rally significantly. And therefore, I'm I'm going to say that this is very likely that we'll see this fall even further. I would not be surprised if we saw something similar to this, where we fell way below the 20 exponential and then pulled back. So that could happen on, on uh, Tuesday when the inauguration is. So, so be prepared for that. It could pull back and then rally to uh, very aggressively to the upside. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that they are basically slowly turning around. So it's not... Uh, not fast moving. There's not a whole lot of uh, volatility at, the, at this current stage or or volume at this current stage. MACD is crossing the signal line. CCI, the RSI is, is slowly going downwards. We're quite high here at 62 at this point. So um, therefore, I would like for this to basically fall even further in order to, to, uh, to get a better buy-in. CCI is turning around and the stochastic is also turning around. We hit them basically in the middle here, the Bollinger Band. Um, and question is whether or not we break that and go even lower. So one target could be 3,700 or at the bottom of the Bollinger Band, which is 3,660, give or take. That could also be the next. But that basically means that we'll break out of this channel. And I just don't see why we should do that at this point. Pull back underneath the 20 exponential, that is more likely, and then rally up towards the 3,900 level. That's roughly 4.4%. That is uh, what I think is going to happen in this indice. So let's look at Dow Jones. So we hit the bottom of this market and then we rallied. We have the highest here of uh, 31,200, give or take. We can get a little bit higher here. And then we have the bottom, which is the 20 exponential moving average. So 30,500 or 30,600, that is basically where most buyers have come in to buy. But I don't think that this is going to hold. That is my... my uh, I'm doubt whether or not this is going to hold. This is a very bullish candlestick, but I think that we're going to have another run at the 20, 
probably lower than that see something similar to this before we go and take out these previous highs so technical indicators are turning around macd stochastic cci are all slowly turning around same is for the rsi but we are still fairly high at the rsi in, at this point a pullback towards um roughly uh, 30,500 give or take that would make a lot of sense and then rally towards these highs and we'll probably take out these highs and go to 31,500 so roughly here it will go afterward it pulls back that is going to be my my trade and that's what i'm going to wait for in order to enter this market so let's look at the nasdaq so we are similar here in upward trends um, we can get rid of this so we are basically at the bottom we found support here at the 20 exponential moving average and have, have rallied and now we're back inside of this channel so at this point i think that we are going to see the the nasdaq rally most of the big tech stocks fell today some of them which have been falling for a very long time facebook calling out to you uh, have rallied today we're up 2.2 um, percent um, and but the other ones uh, the big techs are the apple amazon uh, tesla for example and so on all of them uh, fell uh, today and um, and um, we can basically see what the action we sought out here we were roughly down around uh, one one and a half percent where it was most but people saw the opportunity here came in bought it and then we are rallying yet again we are down for the day but it is not as bad as it, it looks for the other two indices this is much more promising and uh, there is a lot of support in this area of 12,800 750 and so on and i would be very surprised if we fell significantly lower from here the rsi is at 54 we are that is a fairly fairly low for this and uh, other technical indicators are well they're very bearish at this point but i do believe that we are going to turn around here and head towards the upside question is how far we will go so roughly uh, 30,500 that is the next target in this um, in this indice that's a rally of roughly 5.7 percent that is going to be the next target so yes let's look at the tech stocks so we'll start by apple so apple fell today we are trading just above the 40 exponential moving average and um, yes i do do not think that we are going to break the 40 exponential if we do we go to the 50 and uh, well i'm trying to say there's a lot of support underneath there is no reason to expect this to fall apart all the way down to the 100 so i think the lowest we'll get is down here uh, 126 and then rally towards these highs that's a rally of roughly 10 percent so um so it is fairly cheap at this point so if you're looking at technical indicators they are fairly flat or bullish uh more like flat and macd is uh, bearish at this point uh, rsi is fairly flat the cci is flat stochastic is uh, fairly bullish at this point um so yes we could see some kind of choppiness until tuesday and to, uh, and then see this rally towards uh, roughly 139 dollars a share so amazon we fell yet again today we are trading underneath 150 moving average but we have been here before several times so if you look at this we can see how often we've basically been uh, been at this price level and um, i think that we are going to see this stock rally at well at some point at least um the last time we rallied was around this area here and that is going to be our next target as well question is whether or not we, when we turn around macd is very very bearish it does cc rsi is flat at this point cci is flat and uh, stochastic is turning around to the downside so a break above the 150 that opens the door to the 100 of uh, the 50 moving average but there's a lot of resistance above we tried to break through these moving averages several times here in the past and that's not not happened break below these levels opens the door to the 200 level um 
And yes, that is possible, but very unlikely to be grounds. So let's look at Microsoft. We have found support here just above the 150 moving average, which uh, was fairly expected. At this point, I think that we are going to rally all the way to the top here. So this is a trade of roughly 7.3%, and that will also um, be at the top of the Bollinger Band here, and we'll uh, fall back down after that. Uh, technical indicators are still uh, flat or bearish. Uh, MACD is flat or bearish. Uh, the CCI is uh, stochastic, is bearish. RSI is fairly flat, the CCI is flat. So, But we are here at the uh, bottom of the Bollinger Band, so at this point, I think that we are going to see this stock rally so facebook so facebook was up at three percent and then gave most of those gains uh, back um, i think this is the bottom of this um of this breakdown you can see the last time we had this kind of bread breakdown towards the 200 moving average that was uh, the last one was back here this was all the way back in june uh, but if this stabilizes here, it's similar to what well, it stabilized here at the 100 moving average and it doesn't look like it has momentum more to the downside, then we're looking at substantial rally to the upside. So from here to these previous highs, that is 20% rally. So a very, very good trade if that occurs. If you look at technical indicators, they are all looking like they are going to turn and head towards the upside. So at least this will rally towards the middle of the bullish band or the 20 moving average. And that is still a trade of 6% to the upside. So we could rally to that and break down. But if we rally through that, then we're heading all the way to these highs. So Tesla is down, which was also expected. Um, I think that Tesla is going to drop even more. Uh, so I think that buyers will come in roughly 765 and that's another 8.7% uh, drop. So that's basically the middle of the Bollinger Band, which has been uh, previous uh, support. And if you look at the other technical indicators, we are still overbought, even though we fell today. We are still above 70. Stochastic is becoming negative. CCI is negative. The MACD is going to cross signal line on probably Monday. So this is going to be um, a stock that will be possible to buy into when we get to the 20 exponential, which will will uh, attract a lot of buyers. Next target from here will be um, first eight, 800 and uh, or roughly 900 is going to be the next target here. So Google, Google has been back and forward for most of today. We broke down towards the 1722. Now we're trading at 1746. Um, I do favor the upside for, for with Google. We're at the 51 at the moment. Um, we need the CCI, uh, the casting and CCI to turn around also the MACD before we start buying into this. If it falls from here, then we have the 100 moving average all the way down here, which will be massive support. So last, last but not least, we have Netflix. Netflix has fallen 0.4, 40% at this point, and we're trading just above the 150 moving average. So we're just at the... Uh, Oh, just above the, uh, the bottom of the Bollinger Band. Technical indicators, uh, most of them are turning around, like the casting is turning around. The CCI is, uh, well, it's fairly flat, and so is the, the RSI, and the MACD is bullish, uh, bearish at this point. So um, my point here is that I think that we are going to head towards um, these previous highs of 540, if we manage to get through the 20 exponential moving average, which we had, uh, or the 100 and the 30 and the 20 exponential moving average, then that we are most likely going towards these previous highs. That is roughly a trade of 9.5% uh, or to 544 uh, before we break down. We are low here in the, in the RSI, so there's a lot of room to the upside. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and good weekend.